And Louisville City FC is looking to make history tonight as the first USL team to win three titles. Whitney Harding here now, and it was a fast start for those boys in purple, Whitney. It really was, Shay. I mean, they came out very aggressive, really dominated the possession early. Lynn Stadium absolutely packed tonight for this one. Louis City came out with some fireworks. Six minute, now McCabe crosses in front of the net. Magnus Rasmussen puts it away. One new nil lose city. The boys in purple, lots of chances in the first half. Couldn't convert. The Monarchs took advantage. Game tied at one when Conrad Plua buries the header, gives Real the lead, and they never looked back. Lou City's bid for that third title falls short. Monarchs win three to one. Kent Spencer has more from Lynn Stadium. It was not the night Louisville City FC expected. For the first time in three years, the boys in purple had to stand next to the stage and watch somebody else hoist the USL championship trophy. Um, I was thinking to myself that um, I've never been in that position in that position before. Like I've, I've never sat and watched a team raise a trophy before. And it, felt, it, it felt really awful to be honest. Congratulations to them nonetheless. Disappointed the way we played, and specifically, I did think we, around the 18th minute, um, started playing too conservative. We didn't finish our chances when maybe it should have been two, even three. No one has won three in a row before, and we were we were so close to doing it, you know. And to be honest, that's to the that's a testament to the team. Despite this loss to Real Monarchs SLC, Louisville City FC is poised and focused to be right back in this spot again next year. Reporting at Lynn Stadium, Ken Spencer, WHAS 11 News.